Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel We Disappear For Days and welcome to Job to Carter. So it's our first full day in Jogjakarta and we're really looking forward to getting to know the area today, exploring, seeing what local food we can try and just seeing what Jogjakarta has to offer. We're on our way now to rent a bike. It's our first time renting a bike in Indonesia but we feel like because Jogjakarta is so big and it's got so many different places that we can explore, we thought it'd be best to get a bike so that we can sort of cover more surface area. Right, we've just got some, what are they, fried bananas? Yeah, so I think it's like pastry with a fried banana and then chocolate or something in it. So is it like pisang goreng? It's different to normal, I think it? the pisang is in the middle bit. The batter is so like chewy though, it's really oh, crunchy, okay. but like when you start chewing it's like, oh. Oh, a good little breakfast. The bike has been acquired. It's actually pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like quite a little sporty one. What's it saying? It Beat Street Garage. Let's go and explore. Okay, so we've arrived at Prambanan Temple, which when we looked up the best things to do in Jogjakarta, this was one of the things that came up. There's the Prambanan Temple and Borobudur. Borobudur. We chose this one out of the two because we really want to go looking for waterfalls on another day. And the waterfalls are over by Borobudur. So we thought let's explore two different sides of Jogjakarta. And then we can always come back another time and see Borobudur. Today might not have been the best day to wear black, it is boiling. Welcome to the entrance of foreign tourists. <laughs> so it was 400,000 rupiah each, so about 20 pound each, which I feel like for such a big site is not too bad. So the ticket also does come with a free bottle of water, which is a win. Also comes with a map in pretty much all the main languages which is quite useful. Supposedly the most beautiful Hindu temple in the world. Straight away these grounds are just amazing. So much greenery and it's such a like lovely atmosphere. There's all this kind of like little twinkly music going on and it's not too busy today which is really nice as well. It feels like we're in like a spa or something at the moment. Yeah yeah. Really pretty. You can hear like the water running over there. It's beautiful. Look at that thing. Oh, so that's the Pram Banana Temple. Yeah. So we're going to yeah. go up and see the other yeah. one first and then come back to that at the end. Yeah, we'll leave that one for now. The Pram Banana Temple complex is actually a complex which is built in the 9th century, which is kind of mad since back in our Angkor Wat video, and was like, I don't even think I've heard of anything built in the 10th century. That was the 10th century, this is 100 years earlier. There is also a museum that you can go in, which is quite nice, obviously included within the ticket. So I'm pretty sure that this is Borobudur Temple. The museum was nice, but none of it was in English, which is a bit of a shame. Apart from that film we just watched, they had yeah. English subtitles which was really good. And the film was actually quite informative. It tells you about the history and the story behind the temple and the restoration of it. It also became a UNESCO heritage site in 1991 which I didn't know. So we are at our first temple, the Lambung Temple. This is a cute little temple. It looks like lots of kind of little different pieces. I don't know whether they've got more restoration to do or whether this is kind of as far as they could get with it. It's not quite as grand as the, the main one, is it? But no. But I don't that's, think it's meant to be. <laughs> but that's why we're leaving the main one to last. Oh yeah, there's probably bats in there, isn't there? Really to see. Another thing that I liked about the video is that it actually said that Hindus to this day still use Prambanan Temple as a place of worship. I always say I wonder what these would have been used for. I'm assuming there would just be a statue right here or something and that's where like they worship back in the day maybe. Where the hell has she gone? I know Emma and I know she can't run. She can barely walk. Oh there she is. Are you trying to leave me as a sacrifice? 
Right, so it says the Bhubra Temple is a single building facing east, just like the Prambanan Temple complex. The temple is a slender and tall building with the stupa roof. A single stupa is surrounded by eight other stupas and then also by another 16 stupas. That's a stupid amount of stupas. This one's pretty cool, isn't it? This looks really nice. It looks so nice with all of the trees and the flowers and the bushes surrounding it. It's very symmetrical, isn't it? Oh, can we go inside inside? Oh, we can. I admit, these grounds are so nice. They're really, really well maintained. You can tell a lot has gone into the restoration of the place and like the preservation of it as well. Okay, and the final temple of these set of three that are up this way is the Kandi Sibu. So this is the second largest Buddhist temple in central Java, which was built in the 8th century again. Zeru Temple Lao reflects the mandala shape, which was the cosmological aspect of Mahayana Buddhism. There's a lot of scaffolding holding that up. I do love the symmetry in this. Look at the darkness. Quite cool that it's got these pathways which kind of go around and they're like walled off. So you can just see how much of this temple is still yet to be restored. There is just rubble everywhere. I just don't understand how they figure out what goes where. It must be such a huge project. And obviously, because it's still ongoing, did they say the restoration started in 1990s? Yeah. 30, 40 years later, and it's still ongoing. Yeah, you can see there's some guys up here which are doing some restoration as we speak. At least it shows where our money's going to, I guess. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the grounds of what would have been one of those temples. I'm not allowed up, understandably. We've just given the little kitty some water. He's been lapping it up off the pavement. We must be really thirsty. So there's this big stage over here which has been playing some music. It looks like it's set up for some massive event. There's tons of chairs out and it's a big old stage. So I'm wondering what it is. Whoa. I mean, just from here even, it's just giant. On the guide it says that the temple stands at 45 metres high, which is pretty ridiculous. Like always, just the intricacy of it all. It's just nuts how they built this such a long time ago. Now once again, looking at the map, there were so many little temples which were surrounding these main big ones. And yeah, you can see that they've clearly not managed to get around to restoring them just quite yet. These things are absolutely bonkers, how cool they look, aren't they? I feel like it'd be such a privilege to work on kind of the restoration of these places. How cool would it be to say for your job that you kind of rebuild like super old temples? So we're heading into the Shiva temple now. From what I read, there's a statue or a tablet of Shiva in here. like about this complex as well is that you can actually see Mount Mababu just in the background. I wish it was a clearer day because it just goes right up into the clouds. I think it would make it so much more dramatic if you could see the mountain. Oh, look at them. Their antlers are really weird aren't they? They're like furry antlers. I think it looks like a damn dinosaur doesn't it? I mean, I'm assuming it's an emu. Look at the little baby deer. I don't think I've ever seen a deer so small. No, it's like Bambi, isn't it? Yeah. Right, 
right, so we've just come out of Pambanan Temple. That was a really, really nice temple, to be honest. The grounds were like so well maintained. I feel like, especially say in comparison to Angkor Wat, the grounds were just like really neat and aesthetically pleasing. Overall, a really, really nice temple to visit if you're in Jogjakarta. But yeah, we're off to go get a bit of lunch because we are starving. Okay, so we've come for a bit of a lunch at a little street stall, which is doing I am checker. Yeah, I am checker. Yes. Checker is leg meat. Checker. <laughs> Checker. Chicken leg meat. Yes. And then you're getting saya. Wings. wings, I believe. Alright, lunch has been served. What we didn't realise is that mine would come with a chicken foot. I've never personally been a fan of chicken foot, but I'll have a little gnaw on that. See if anything has changed since I last had it. How's it tasting? Yeah, really good flavour. The noodles are really thick mm. and like chewy. I don't know how you're really meant to go for it, but here you goes. Oh, the flavour, in honesty, yeah. isn't that bad. It just tastes like chicken. The thing is, there's just no meat on it, I don't think. Like, it's so hard to get the meat off, and all you get is the bones in your mouth. My brother, Joel, absolutely loves chicken feet. I just can't get behind it. So we've just stopped off to get an iced tea. Ever since being in Jogjakarta, we have seen iced tea everywhere for like 3,000, 4,000, sometimes 5,000. And we have just got addicted to it. All it is, is just cold iced tea with a little bit of sugar in it. We make sure that we say Sikit Manis, but it's so good, really refreshing and a nice little pick me up in the afternoon. So we're here on the famous Malioboro Street, which I've read online, it's lined with restaurants, street stalls, hotels and shops, a real tourist spot here. But it's also really famous because it's got lots of street artists and street musicians and things. It's obviously really busy here and we're looking forward to having a look around and just exploring the nightlife of Jogjakarta. And we're also gonna get a bit of dinner. I think I could pull that off. Right, there's a whole market here. It looks absolutely massive. It looks like they sell just about everything. But we do need to get dinner because it's getting later and later. So we're going to go and get some dinner and then I need to go and explore this market. We've just been stopped by this guy. He asked us where we're from. We've just been chatting to him. Now he said about some art school or something that's happening at the moment. We said, oh, where is it? And he said, I'll show you. So he's taking us over there now. Saya nama juga. Is it nama saya? Nama saya, I think. Nama saya juga. Yeah. And you? Nama saya Emma. Emma, nice to meet you. Nice Emma. to meet you. Senang too. berkenalan dengan anda. Oh, <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> nice to Please. meet you. Oh. Senang bertemu dengan anda. Senang. Senang. Bertemu. Bertemu. Dengan. Dengan. Anda. Anda. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Happy enjoy and hope you Bye. like it. Lovely to meet yeah, you. Yeah, you too. Bye. Yeah, this looks incredible. It's the sort of thing like we would have 100% just completely not noticed a more. Oh place. yeah, well if it was like said. down an alley almost, wasn't yeah. it? When I was looking at the street online, it said that all of the alleys and the side roads are just as important as the main street for tourists and things. It's not just about coming to the main street, but actually you need to explore beyond that. So this is obviously why. So that guy was also saying that this street is open 24 hours and that people from Indonesia come here for a holiday for one day and they just don't book a hotel and just stay here all through the night because apparently it's really chill and really safe. How cool is that? We've come into this restaurant and it has taken absolutely ages for them to serve us our food. A good 45 minutes, I'd have said. Emma's gone for some bakmi jawa nyemek. It looks like a chicken noodle soup with like some veg and stuff. Mine is nasi goreng gulai. It looks like sticky rice almost. It looks like it's got like little chunks of beef in it. This looks quite nice. It looks like it's quite kind of fresh and maybe quite healthy for once. 
make a change. Mm, I can do that too. Really? Mm. She's like a chickeny, like she's like a chickeny broth. Some like, they look like vermicelli noodles. Mm -hmm. I really like that. That's really nice, quite salty, but the flavour in it. I don't know what kind of flavour is running through the rice, but it's like a really rich, kind of meaty, garlicky flavour, I think. That is good. She must have liked it. She's finishing all the soup as well. That was a really nice flavour. I can't really describe how it was, just like a chickeny kind of broth. Yeah, for me to like literally finish every morsel and not leave any for Jacob, that is saying something. Mine was really good as well. The flavour of it was amazing. A bit saltier than I'd normally have, but the flavours of the rice and the beef, the egg and oh, just everything combined, it was, it was so nice. And it went really, really well with my little ginger and lemongrass tea. But now I have seen lots of ice cream no. shops down there. No. So no. I think it's time to go and look for an ice cream because I haven't had a really nice ice cream in ages because Mixu doesn't count. I mean, I like Mixu, but it's just pretty basic, isn't it? It's fine if you've got nothing else to choose from, but to go to like an actual ice cream shop with loads of flavors and lots of little bits to pick from. We haven't done that in such a long time. So I think we need to go and look for an ice cream. My gelato. Sounds like my kind of place. That's a shame. The ice cream counter was closed. It had a closed sign on it, but there was clearly ice cream in there. So how can it be closed? How can that be a thing? I don't understand. Right, we're going to find another one. No. Right, second time lucky. Massimo gelato. It's a little bit dead in here, so I'm not feeling very hopeful, but there is ice cream. So hopefully there'll be someone who'll come and serve it to us any moment. I've gone for one scoop of red velvet, which is a little bit different, and one scoop of cookies ice cream. Red velvet is very good. We've made it back to the market area, so we're gonna have a little wonder. come across this Gorian Special. It looks like some Rice Krispies in like the shape of a bowl, but we have no idea what it is. As always with stuff like that, if you do know, please leave us a comment because we are baffled. Right, I made a little purchase, got myself a little, what I would call like a bum bag. The other day, somebody did to unzip my bag, the bag which was very worrying and I haven't stopped thinking about it since. So I said, I think I need to get a bag that I can wear on the front. And this is what I've got, my little Jogja bag. We started at 50,000 and managed to haggle it down to 35,000. He's not Indonesian. Word of Jacob. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. And it means I don't have to buy a t-shirt from Jogja because I've already got myself a little souvenir. We've just found what we think must be like a Chinatown gate, but are we in Chinatown? I didn't even know there was oh. Chinatown here. It's pretty cool regardless though, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. I, it looks like quite new. I love a Chinatown gate. You are half Chinese to be fair, so I think it's okay for you to enjoy a Chinatown gate. Makes sense. Just come across this tree that these ladies are shaking, trying to figure out what it is they're trying to get off of it. There's like some nuts that are falling on the floor of some sort. Thank you. What is it? What is it? Uh, Asam. Asam. Asam Jawa. Sour. Sour. Like, Do you just... Just... Like uh, this? Like... You peel it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you peel the skin off. I mean, it must be good for them to <laughs> shake in the tree. There you go. Cheers. Oh, it is sour. Is it? What is it? Like a fruit? Tastes like a nut. Right. Like a, a sour, sour nut. nut. The inside is like quite nutty. It's very dry. Can I try? It kind of smells like it's not edible. It's like a sour peanut. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Tidak suda. Saya bukan. No, saya tidak suka sour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice of them to let us try a bit. But now that I've tried it, I think I can safely say that I won't be trying it again. It's I in my mouth. I need a drink. All right, I think we're going to end this one here. It's been a really, really fun day, hasn't it? Temples like Prambanan Temple never cease to amaze me with how like intricate they are and everything. Yeah, I think in general, it's just been such a fun day on the bike, hasn't it? 
Yeah, it's been very full on, both very tired. It's past 11 o'clock. This place is still buzzing. That guy wasn't wrong about it being open 24 hours and people staying here all night and everything because there are still so many people here. I would definitely recommend this street if you come to Georgia. There's so much to see. I definitely don't think we've seen all of it. We've not even gone into any of the malls here because there's a, a few malls, I, I think, here. And we've not even gone down some of the side streets yeah, or anything like that. There's so much to see, so we might have to come back. But we'll see you in the next one. If you have been enjoying our videos in Indonesia, feel free to drop us a like, a subscribe. Tell us what food you think we should eat next because we are always on the hunt for some good local grub. See you next one. Bye. Bye.